She's still there? Very good. Uh, Mr. Harsh, I'll uh, both close the remarks. Three minutes. Would anyone like to make a motion to extend the meeting? Sure, so move another uh, two more minutes. Fifteen, what is, what is the pop? Would be preferable. Okay. Uh, 30 minutes. Okay. Anyone like to second that motion? We got a second. Any objections? No objections? Okay. I hear you, Mr. Vice Chairman. Loud and clear. I'm going to be really quick. Um, I'm going to refer you to your own planning department's memorandum dated June 25. Because I think this is what your planners are really saying to you. You have to make those findings, the required findings that are laid out on the third page of his report. Um, and I guess the one finding that troubles me is the second one. The amendment constitutes an overall improvement in the comprehensive plan and is not solely for the good or benefit of a particular landowner or owners of a, at a particular point in time. Unfortunately, I'm afraid that that's going to be a tough, tough call for you. The recommendation of your own planning department is that, in fact, uh, it says they strongly recommend that development proposals, including reasonable requests and comprehensive plan amendments, must be in character with the adjoining neighborhoods compatible with surrounding land uses and maintain the scale and character of the local neighborhoods. And they expressed concern about the transportation issue. Uh, so I think it is fitting, really, that we end on the, the note set by your own planning department before that unfortunate 11th hour set of conditions were discussed, which really don't address the fundamental issue here. So uh, I thank you, and Chief Medicom Green thanks you for your attention. Thank you, sir.